You need to go easier on Sarah, kid. What brought that up? I've seen how you are together. You're always circling each other, waiting for the other one to pounce. I do not want to fight her, but she does not give me a choice in the matter. Well, yeah. You ran into her the day after you died. For her, you were gone for centuries. I don't think you understand how much your death affected her, and neither of you get how much your resurrection brought it all back. When you run into someone you thought was gone for years, learning otherwise can produce some intense feelings. Where is this coming from, Logan? This is not entirely about Sarah. I've lived way too long. For nearly a century, Victor Creed, Sabretooth, has been a bitter enemy. But I've lost count of the times we've fought side by side. I'm not asking you to forget your history. But it doesn't always need to be a fight to the death. Sarah never told me you were this fun. Good girl, Charlie. Quite a view out here, Logan. You know, I didn't always go by Logan. Or Wolverine, for that matter. Once upon a time, they used to call me Weapon X. Not exactly warm and cuddly, eh? Tough. Deadly. It suits you. Maybe so. But sometimes, I wonder how things would have turned out for me if I had been given a different name. You know, something softer like Bob or Moonchild. You ever think how your whole destiny got laid out the minute they named you Hunter? If we are choosing names, then I should be Demon Spawn. Ah, oh. <laughs> you want me to start calling you that? Hold off for now. It could upset the others. I think you got lucky with somebody like Caretaker watching out for you. I suppose her name is fitting, then. I'd have killed to have someone like Caretaker in my life. One way or another, I've lost everybody I ever cared about. That must have been hard on you. For a while, yeah. But lately, I've been feeling like I'm getting my edge back. Like when I was younger. Oh? What changed? Could be a lot of things. Maybe I've been eating better. Maybe it's some kind of weirdo Abbey magic at work. Or maybe it's the fact that I somehow managed to make a new friend. If my presence is causing you to reclaim your edge, then I am honored. It is not what I intended, but it is a welcome side effect. Hopefully it's the only side effect. Otherwise, I gotta contact my doctor. I ain't had a real teammate I could count on since I took a break from the X-Men. How is it? It's kinda nice. Did you have any friends back before you were, you know, encased in a tomb? A few. Why do you ask? Ah, uh, just thinking about my time with the Runaways. You ever miss people from your past? I do. Are you talking about Agatha? Among others. Makes sense. Uh, sorry, stupid question. It is not stupid. Are you missing someone? Yeah, a good friend of mine. We kind of had a thing for each other, but it didn't work out. Still miss them, though. What happened to them? We went our separate ways. It felt like the right thing to do at the time, even if it hurt. I understand. Losing a friend to circumstance is never easy. That's putting it lightly. I knew you'd get it. 
Feeling nostalgic sucks sometimes. It will pass. Can it pass any faster? My brain needs to focus on other stuff today. Even a sorcerer supreme can't rest on the floor. You are every bit as powerful. I like to come here, away from all the noise. It is heartwarming that I am not noise to you. Obviously, you're better than that. Maybe even, you know, my equal. I cannot believe the Dark Child sees me as an equal. Just be honored and never mention it again. But this is a moment I will treasure for eternity, Ileana. Maybe I can even ask Robbie to make us matching t-shirts to commemorate it. You're the worst. So bad you might even impress the likes of Mephisto. That does not sound appealing. Better to impress the Prince of Lies than to provoke his contempt. What he respects, he also fears. I will never apologize for being comfortable with my darkness. And neither should you. The darkness is ours to wield. It is our strength. There is no shame in owning up to what we are and what we can do. You are right, Hunter. More than right. I needed an ally and a friend like you for a long time. Someone that embraces their darkness and makes me feel comfortable with mine. I am honored I can be that friend to you, Ileana. It was an unexpected gift, but one I am happy to receive. When this battle is over, you should come back with me. Join the X-Men. Is that your plan? Rejoining the X-Men? Maybe. Piotr would love it if I came back. What about Nico, Robbie, and Blade, the Midnight Suns? You would really leave them? Once you are a son, you never really leave, no matter where you go. In any case, I hope we can continue fighting side by side in the future. If there is a future, that is. Ileana, you and the Suns are the future. At least you have given me hope for it. Uh, don't get too sentimental on me, Hunter. I was just beginning to like you.
Maybe this library isn't totally useless. Did you know Cathan wrote the Dark Hold inside a cave called Dark Hold? <laughs> so much for the originality of Elder Gods. More paranormal breaches detected. This amount of psychic energy will be visible across dimensions. Good call, Charlie. Crossbone seems very eager to see you. Let's see how he feels after I show up. My main concern is making sure the transients escape our car. Taking care of Crossbones will probably help that a lot. Seeing Crossbones taunting those people makes me ill. You know there is only one cure. Dropping right into the heart of Transia. Don't let crossbones turn those poor people into shields. I'm getting angry just thinking about it. Rumlow's got to be stopped. We have a shot here at finally bringing him in. Do not let him get away. Basket, and Crossbone seems intent on taking the locals down with it. You can always count on Captain Boy Scout and his posse to come running anytime they're screaming nobody's to rescue. I'm not about to stand by and let you kill these people, Rumlow. Good. I was hoping to get you right about.
This is no place for you. Get to safety. What are you trying to prove by hurting these people? I don't need to prove anything to you. I just like watching a bunch of so-called heroes. We will end all these crimes one way or another. Shake it in my boots over here.
one. It is all coming back to me. armor. Pity if someone punched a hole in it. what I need. Faustus. I kept a few around for special occasions. Crazy old bastard be smiling in his grave right now. If I left you something to bury... You'd blow us all apart with that thing? Just to keep these people from leaving? And you thought Faustus was mad? Orders are orders. Come on, Rumlo. This is way past wrong and you know it. What the hell has gotten into you? <laughs> device detonates. We lose the bridge. We lose everyone here. We end this. Now. I was hoping you'd say that. What was it you said? You regret not finishing me off before? Put up or shut up? I think I'm gonna carve that one on your tombstone. You want a showdown, Rumlo? You got one. I would be more worried about that bomb. Hack the interface console, and you might be able to delay the blast. At least long enough to deal with crossbones. These computers are not my specialty.
some for the rest of you. As Crossbone has earned a good thrashing, I would really keep an eye on that bomb. We're handling it. They're getting up, at least not right away. This Rumlo, is this what Lilith wanted from you? Chaos? Here's a little secret for you. I stopped caring what Lilith wants a long time ago. Then why serve her? I don't serve anybody. I don't even know what they are anymore. And this is your sad attempt at a blaze of glory? You got it, now. And who better to go out with me but you? I'm here to help you. I haven't lost their interest yet. Your suffering begins. <laughs> Things. 
Talk about this when I'll say hi for you when I see him. Go! Hail Hydra! Not in my lifetime. <laughs> 